Hey everybody, it's Professor Powerland, and welcome back to more Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last part, we set free one of the great star spirits, and that's where we left off. It seems we're back with Peach here, and I don't, I don't know why I'm whispering, I'm just sort of am. I wonder what Mario's doing right now. I wonder if he's hurt. I'm so worried about him. He'll be alright, Princess. Why don't we say, I bet he's saving some star spirit right now. Yes, you're right, Twink. I must be strong. I need to concentrate on finding a way out of here. But there's a ton of guards just beyond your door. And it's impossible for you to escape through the window. Oh, wait a minute. I heard the mistress telling me that there is a secret passage out of this room. Twink, help me look for it. Cool, great idea. Anyway, like I was saying, hey everybody, it's Professor Powerline. Welcome back to more Let's Play Paper Mario. I'm not going to repeat my intro, I've decided. <laughs> anyway, so, um... Gotta look for that secret passageway. Here, where to look? It's kind of cool that you get to play as Prin Princess Peach, though, for a little bit. She's probably lonely on Valentine's Day, or Singles Awareness Day, or whatever you want to call it. Ah, you're probably not seeing this on that on Valentine's Day, though, because I upload at midnight, so... But I am recording it on Valentine's Day. Or Singles Awareness Day, as I like to call it. I love how the fire just falls over. Or the logs. That's some quality wood you've been burning there. Okay, how did you not notice the big freaking gaping hole behind your fireplace? And how long have these been lit? No one knows this is back here. What? I, um. Creepy. Very, very creepy. Oh, and a giant glorified red button. Because apparently there's circuitry in this ancient castle. Okay, that makes perfect sense. You know, we'll roll with it. Alright, what do we got here? Probably shouldn't leave. I imagine there's guards outside this door too. Ooh, a book! I don't like reading. I'll burn it! Hey, let me burn the book, man. Come on. Oh, it's a diary. Oh, I could acquire a taste for reading now. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, day O dash O month star sunny. Today I went to Star Haven and Solar Star Run. I'm now invincible. Cool. I also captured those seven star spirits. They won't they won't annoy me anymore. It was a hard day's work. I'm feeling pretty bush. Dinner was nice, but a bit bland. I feel like I might know whose person wrote the star. Yo, gee, I wonder. Read more! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Day O dash X month. Okay, whatever. It was great. I used the castle with Princess Peach's castle up way up into the sky. Okay. Well, this is clearly Bowser's diary. And he's bragging to himself about capturing a princess. Okay. <sighs> Read more. Day X dash X month. Star day, or day sunny. Well, the Koopa Girl has got beaten by Mario. Um, so, he's already gotten wind of that, even though it happened a matter of moments ago. Somebody could barely ride on the Mario. Such a big, strong, and cool, and helpful. I hate him. Uh, don't worry. There's no way Mario could save the Star Spirits being held in dry, dry ruins. Huh. Can you say hint, hint? I can. I'm not hint, hint. I hope you don't say hint, hint, hint. It sounds really weird. Okay, dry, dry ruins in dry, dry desert. I'm sensing a theme here. And we wouldn't know to go to the desert anyway, so I'm not worried at all. In fact, I'm calm. I'm going to bed now. Okay, so now Princess Peach knows where the next Star Spirit is. But even though we broke the fourth wall in the last video, I don't think they're going to let us get away with that. And we need some way to tell Mario. It looks like, um, good old Twink's going to do it again. I love his little panicking animation. That is so entertaining. <laughs> oh, foiled. Bowser, whatever you do, do not look at the giant red switch just beneath that fireplace. Just somehow, totally miss it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Also, if you could miss a star clearly hiding behind your chair, that'd be great. He's being really considerate today. I mean, just look at him. I ask him to miss stuff, he misses it. Okay. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. And if you'd also miss Twink escaping. Thank you again. Obliged. At least Twink didn't, like, close the door. That would have made me upset. Well, well, if it isn't back to Mario. Mario, I believe you'll save us all. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all that you've done. Thank you.
since you have freed me from my prison, you see my power is broken now. I'll recover my power little by little. As long as I am, <coughs> excuse me, as long as I have ounce of power remains to me, I shall help you. A gift from the stars. Um, that actually wasn't supposed to be a pun. Er, uh, so, that whatever. So we can now use star power in battle. Uh, no, I think I can do a better job of explaining this. Uh, no, I'm ignoring you. I did the last tutorial, I'm not gonna do this one. Because we've had far too many tutorials in this game as it is. Okay, so when we together, we can bestow upon the power called the Star Beam. Okay, I'm liking this. Where is this going? Star Beam is the only thing that can counteract the power of the Star Rod that Bowser wields. Okay, so we have a way to beat Bowser if we get all seven of these guys back. So, one seventh of the way there. Look at him in his little 2D self. All right. Well, today's been a good day's work. I'm going to get into a battle real quick and explain the star power. But first, let's get this thing with Bombette that we missed earlier. And by missed, I mean we didn't have the ability to get it. Pull that up. And let's go down here. Okay, Bombette, you still just chill there. What do we got? FP plus, basically HP plus, but for FP, I don't think I'll be using that ever. And we can't go back down the warp pipe; we just gotta fall. So let's do that. Oh, excuse me. So I was gonna do a quick battle here. Very nice. It stopped his first strike. So as you'll notice, just below Mario's HP, there's now a little star dealy there. Um, I'm gonna get hurt real quick, so I'm gonna use power bounce, and I'll show you what's going down. Okay, come on. Come on. Do some damage. Maybe do some damage. Come on. Work with me. Don't make me do this. I will jump on your face all day. Ah. I swear. Explode him. Explode him now. Very nice. Okay, now we just take some damage. I'm not going to actually command this. Ouchie. Ouchie. And ouchie. Okay, now, Star Spirit Energy. As you can see, we now have this little Star Spirits thing here. We have two commands, Focus and Refresh. This takes one power, and even though it looks like a full bar, one power is actually all we got. That star is the power, the gauge is how much so you get that star. So let's use this real quick, and I'll show you what it does. This is Eld Star's ability. He's the only one we have right now, so naturally we just can use him. And he is going to cover 5 HP and 5 FP. The strategic value of that is obvious. Anyway, so that's really, 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 really nice to have. But as you can see, we're now out of star um, power. So, question logical one is, how do you recover that? Well, simple. As you notice there, a little bit recovers every turn. But if we want it back faster, we can, only use, we can also use focus. This will recover about half more. We can increase this later through badges and whatnot, but um, for right now, we can just do that. And since we only have one bar, there's no real reason to focus, so, yeah. But anyway, that's the tutorial on the star power. It's a very good little trick to have. Got a lot of strategic possibilities. And it does away with things like items. Makes it easier to recover in battle. Okay, well that's that tutorial. So I think we'll just make our way to the Koopa Village, and then we'll cut the video. Crap. Mario, I swear, be a little bit more graceful, would you? Okay, let's switch to Cooper. Cooper is much more of a beast. And now let's use his power shell ability. There we go. There we take two damage from Spike Coop. I guess. I wonder if I get my power jump to work again. I was pretty cocky when we go. Let's see if I can do this. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Okay, apparently just enough. <sighs> That's what I get for being cocky. Okay, I'll go home. Oh, oh, money! Money, I love money! It's almost as great as life! Almost, not quite. Anyway, okay. No! Or fools! I will not! I will not! I will not! I will not indulge your lust for battle! I'm losing my mind right about now. <laughs> Although, when I'm losing my mind, it's obviously the best possible time I can make recordings. I mean, let's just be fair about this. Ooh, little twirly thingy. Yay, twirly thingy. I'm really just not okay right now. What is wrong with me? 
Sheesh. It reminds me of that iThor game from Mario Party 3. I swear, I used to get so competitive with that game. Admittedly, I still do. Anyway, so I think now's as good a time as any to cut the video. So, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, I'm going to be showing a few things in the Koopa Village that we didn't show last time and or weren't here at all. Um... And then I guess we're going to be making our way back to Toad Town. And since I have a lot more star points, or a star, um... What are those called? Star... Star pieces, that's it. <laughs> um, since I have a lot more star pieces now, uh, I want to go back to the badge trader and get a badge that's arguably my favorite of all time. So anyway, that's what we'll be doing next time. So, see y'all. That's not what I meant. Next time.